Do you need to set up your auto accrual policies? Have you defined your security settings? These tips will help you better understand those features. Set up your auto accrual accounts and policies. Accrual accounts are used to identify the types of accruals you will maintain for your employees. Common examples of accrual accounts are vacation time, sick time, and PTO. You must define your accrual accounts before you can set up and use auto accrual policies. To add an accrual account, go to the Define menu and select Accruals and Accrual Accounts. Click the Add button and enter the new account name in the Accrual Account field. You can choose to accrue time by hours or days. Accrual Policy Setup is easy with Staff File's Step-by-Step -step Auto Accrual Policy Wizard. The Accrual Policy Wizard guides you through a series of questions using your answers to set up calculations based on accrual periods, hire dates, trial periods, and seniority. From the Define menu, choose Accruals and Auto Accrual Policies. Click the Add button to add a new accrual policy. Each step in the Auto Accrual Policy Wizard provides text and examples to help you define your settings. Set up your security settings. Multiple people can access staff files with a multi-user license. You can restrict access to one or more tabs or departments or allow read-only access. You can set up usernames and passwords to secure your organization's confidential personnel records. From the File menu, select Manage Security. In the Users tab, enter or select the user for which you are setting up security. Click Add if you're entering a new user that isn't included in the list. Put a check mark in the box for read-only access that allows viewing information only. In the Access To section, mark each tab you want the user to have access. In the Department section, mark All Departments to allow complete access, or mark Following Departments and enter the specific departments you're allowing access to for that user. As you continue to explore the staff file's features and functionality, we encourage you to use the built-in help file. There's also a list of frequently asked questions, a tips and tricks guide, and the quick start guide available on our website. These resources will help you learn how to use staff files to its fullest potential. There are more instructional video tutorials on our YouTube channel to learn from too.